Bill Anderson, you pitch a story. Uh, this is a follow up on Bay Point. It's a ghost town. It has been since Sandy. What do you got? It is, and we're now more than 18 months after Hurricane Sandy. Jersey Shore is still trying to rebuild some of these communities, and small towns like Bay Point are trying to figure out if it's better to just pack it in, sell the entire town to the government as has been proposed. I went to Bay Point, I saw the shocking remnants of what really appears to be a ghost town that was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. Uh, they're now one of the first that's looking into a government offer to buy the entire area, pre-Sandy values if they're willing to sell. Mayor Irwin Shepard told me that it's just gotten too hard for residents with rising insurance costs and rebuilding costs, and they just can't afford to keep the house. It's an opportunity for them because they're gonna have to spend a lot of money to bring these homes back up to uh, to meet the code to move into them. Look at this. This is the Astra? Yeah. I actually walked around with Kate, who's one of the residents. While we were there, 18 months after, she was still pulling things out of the sand. Probably my daughter from a, a little mirror. That room had been washed out to sea 18 months earlier. With all that being said, the buyouts are voluntary, and Kate said she wants to stay, even if it means gambling on not having the high-priced insurance that they want them to have down there. If they accept the buyout, this is going to be returned to a natural state. So part of the agreement is it will not be built on again. Is it the role of the government to come in, buy out the entire town, or do you let private industry come in and decide how much those properties are worth and put them up the for risk, sale? Right? Yeah. Who should take the risk, Hank? Here's my question. Why is it the Bay Point, and my heart does go out to anyone who was affected by Sandy in Bay Point, but why does that town seem to be different from places like Manilokin uh, and others which were hard hit but are much further along the road to recovery? Why are they sort of stuck in time? Well, I think it's a couple of things. I think one, it's not, it's an established area, but it was not a real affluent area. There's people who have been there for quite some time. I think two, because they're kind of out on this point, they weren't exactly sure what the insurance premiums were going to be. Their infrastructure hasn't been rebuilt. So the people out there still don't have electricity, still don't have water in a lot of circumstances. So they're waiting on the government. Government solution seems to be just buy them out.